Hi, I'm David Culp, and welcome to my garden. I've been here about 30 some years. The easy part was putting it in, maintaining it as something else. Uh, I'm inspired largely by naturalism. I like the garden to look like it might have a mind of a, its own. Of course it doesn't. I go to great lengths to make it look like it just happened. We're kind of on the natural side of things. We don't have irrigation. We don't spray. I, you hear the birds in the background, I, I keep bees. So being respons responsible for other creatures that inhabit that space with you is very important to me. I, I kind of work with nature. It's not man over nature, it's man with nature. Uh, the house is 1790, so I kind of made a, a garden that kind of went along with the edge of the house. It's underlying design, geometric. Circuitous borders are more Victorian in their style. And besides that, with my planting style, uh, I need those straight, hard lines to carry my designs through. Uh, I don't, I'm not afraid about big plants. I'm six foot two, so I like plants that are, I can look right in their eye. That's why I like double borders. I have a series of double borders because I like to walk through them and because it makes me interact with them. I participate with my garden. Um, the garden is roughly two acres. It's largely shade, maybe two thirds shade, one third sun. But I like the cottage garden style because it allows me to create a series of different habitats. Um, for, for the bird, for insects, uh, full sun, dry areas, I, I can play with habitats that way. That's what it's all about. I mean, it's, it's for use, it's plant usage. Uh, I tell my students that my job is to increase your plant vocabulary, which, you know, just like you, it's hard to find a plant that I don't like. I find that it's up to you as the gardener or the garden artist to make that plant work. I'm not a garden by number kind of guy at all. I like the art of the moment when doing my designs. I, I allow for that. It kind of gives you a freedom. And if you see my loose planting <laughs> design, you'll know that I like that very much. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, I have something blooming here 12 months out of the year, which is no small feat here in a warm zone six. I wonder how we're gonna be in zone six. I think we're gonna move into seven pretty soon. Thanks to global warming. Uh, but I've seen a change over these 30 years. And that's another thing that I think is important. Learn to read the landscape. I always try to read my landscape. What, what is the wet part of the garden? What's the part of the garden that's first to warm up? What can I put there? How can I cheat a zone? Uh, again, back to creating different habitats throughout the garden. Uh, I just can't, do, I tell everyone I have a chlorophyll addiction, which I do. This is a collector's garden unabashedly, but I don't think collecting plants and doing design are mutually exclusive. You can use your plant and your collection and show it in an artful way, I hope. And I hope in a way that will stretch your imagination. Uh, and I hope that we do that today while you're visiting. Uh, welcome again. Welcome to Pennsylvania. This is the Pennsylvania Country Garden.